Hello everyone, it's Kaylee. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a review, but also what fits in my bag for the Louis Vuitton Felici Pochette and the Damier Isère. I've had this bag for a little bit under a year now, but lately I've definitely been gravitating towards it, so I figured let me put y'all on. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you guys so much for coming on, clicking on another video, seeing this face, hearing me rant. And if you're new here, definitely hit that subscribe button, leave me a like and a comment, and turn your post notifications on so you don't miss any of my future uploads. So without further ado, let's hop on into the video. So here she is in all of her glory and this is the Louis Vuitton Felicie Pochette in the Damier Azur print. I absolutely love this bag. It's more of a wallet on chain so essentially it's really only going to fit what can really fit in your wallet and it has a chain. So this is what it looks like up close and it just has two of the squares that say Louis Vuitton on the front and then on the back bottom it has two of the squares that say Louis Vuitton as well and when you open up the bag there's two right there and they're really small so they're not really that noticeable which I like. Although these designer brands have been doing price increase after price increase after price increase. A couple years ago you could have found this bag maybe for like a K like $1,100 but right now this bag is like $1,900 so that's almost $2,000 for this wallet on chain. So when you open up the bag it's pink and you know I love that it's pink like it's pink. So when you open it up it just literally has two slits. It has the front and it has the back. That's it. Like if you put anything at all bulky in this bag it will not um, clasp. It won't look good like I know that's weird to say but sometimes you know if you overstretch something it doesn't look good that's this bag so it won't look good and it, and it won't like class so you have to put like really thin items in there like you can't put like a max studio fix powder in here it's gonna be too bulky this bag honestly she doesn't hold much like when I say this is literally a wallet it's giving wallet and you can also take the straps off on the side and just carry it like a clutch as well but there's so many ways you can wear this bag you can wear it on your side like this and I'm five foot seven seven and a half in like a day sometimes bags can look awkward or like hit at an awkward length like my Telfar small shopping bag it definitely hits at an awkward length so I don't really like to wear it cross body and if you were to wear it cross body like it hits like right at my hip. The ways you can wear this bag is you can literally tuck the chains in like this and it becomes shorter and you can wear it on your shoulder like that. And then also a newly discovered way that literally takes me ages to do is, where did I get it this time? No. Okay. In I'll insert what it is that I'm trying to do and it also makes the bag a bit shorter so it literally wears like this and I think that's really like really really cute. So I typically use this bag on a night out but I think it doubles as a night out or like a date bag or like going somewhere during the day. When I say this holds nothing, it holds nothing. I really appreciate how this bag is very understated like a lot of the Louis Vuitton bags you can know that they're Louis Vuitton because they have that monogram print. But with this, if you're not into designers, I don't really think anybody would guess that, oh, that's Louis Vuitton because they're probably so used to seeing the monogram print. Like, because sometimes we kind of want to be understated, but we want to have, you know, our, our good quality threads. Is it worth it? Like, I mean, I got it. So obviously it's like, it's worth it for me, but would I like highly recommend this bag? Not necessarily because I also have my Prada Galleria, uh, micro tote and that used to be like my going out bag because it's mini that's black but I wanted something you know a little bit more judge because this can go with so much stuff and like don't be wary of the print either like I know like this is basically like a cream and gray color but it really can go with a lot of stuff this is all we put in there on the back I keep um ID and like a debit card and probably some cash as well because like I said it needs to be thin so that it can close inside i'm gonna put my keys in there sometimes honestly i even have to take the lanyard off but nobody really wants to do that every time they're taking this bag so i'm gonna keep the lanyard on just so that you guys can see what like what we're really working with i'll go ahead and put my lip gloss at the bottom as well um i'll throw my shades in there too i wear the bag at night so i don't have shades but just to kind of give you an idea of what really could fit in here if you were to take this bag out during the day so i'll put the shades also 
in the very front part. And then I'll drop this travel perfume in there. That's literally it. And honestly, it has some weight to it as well. Like you can literally see how thin this bag is. And I don't know if you could tell, but it is a little bit bulky like here and at the back, which I don't like. So you really couldn't fit anything else in there. So if you have like an iPhone 12, iPhone, I mean not iPhone 12, it really doesn't matter what phone you have, but like size wise, if you have like the Max or like Pro Max or whatever, like the thicker phones, they can fit in here, but you literally can't put nothing else. Like you could take your phone and cash. That's it. Absolutely nothing else. You overstuff this bag, this is gonna open. And the last thing you want is all your stuff like falling out all over the place. For the most part, as this being a wallet on chain, I think it definitely serves its purpose. Plus, it's a super cute bag. Love how versatile it is. You can wear it in so many ways. It holds the bare minimum. It's a pretty bag. And this is like their coated canvas. So you know sometimes on bags, like especially luxury bags, they can kind of get like hairline scratches or really like cling to dirt. This is really easy to clean, which I like because of course if you're wearing it at night, you know, you might be bumping into people or people bumping into you or, you know, you're not as careful when you're, you know, out at night, drunk, doing the most. You're not as careful. So this is really good for that. And even the inside being like, um, this, this, the inside is kind of like fabric so you can see like it has a little bit of dirt on it but you can just literally clean that with a Lysol wipe like it's it's not gonna get scratched up or anything like that which I really really like so that is pretty much all of the tea I have on this bag I do recommend if you have the extra coin to spend but if you don't I mean there's other options you know what I mean I could even look into doing like an affordable like wallet on chain collection for you guys well I have to purchase that first but and then you know these things are getting up in cost so we'll have to see thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will see you in the next one